Hi, my name is Carrie Nickenchuk. I am a real estate agent with the Brenneman Group. Bob Brenneman and I have been partners going on eight years now, and so I'm taking over the tour for him today, doing the Long Point Road area. Our first neighborhood that we're going to drive through today is Rice Planters Point. Rice Planters Point is a very small neighborhood just off of Long Point Road across from Boomhaw Plantation. Many of the homes in this neighborhood are brick, custom built homes. There's approximately, on the whole entire area, a thousand acres. They are situated along the marsh and the golf course. And most of the neighborhood is made up of small cul-de-sacs. And the price ranges vary anywhere from 500 to a million. All beautiful homes and different styles. Most of them are low country style homes. It's a very small neighborhood with lots of trees. That's why I like most of the neighborhoods off of Long Point Road have beautiful trees. They're well established. The homes were built roughly starting in the late 80s all the way in to the 2000s. I like the lot sizes. I think that makes for a very beautiful and more comfortable feel in the neighborhood. No real amenities to talk about. Really the lots is what makes this neighborhood nice and the location right off of Long Point Road, very close to 526, and shopping. The Bell Hall Shopping Center is great because you have lots of restaurants, lots of shopping, you have Harris Teeter, Steinmart, and so very close and convenient. Just across the road here, we have really good views as you drive along Long Point Road of Horlbeck Creek over here. And this neighborhood across the creek is Long Point neighborhood, which we're going to be driving through next. And then to the left, you can see the golf course on the left, the Snee Farm Golf Course. Mount Pleasant just put this roundabout in about a year ago, which has helped traffic tremendously. Before, it was really hard to get in and out of this neighborhood, Long Point. But now, with the traffic circle, it's very, very easy, and it actually makes it, makes it look very nice. Long Point, this neighborhood here, was actually created in the 1980s and it's really only two sections. You have Long Point itself and then you also have the Enclave which we'll drive through later. Most of the homes are wooden built so they're wood siding and they range anywhere from you know 1,300 square feet all the way up to 5,000 square feet. Some of these are originally track homes and then some are custom built homes. Right now we're driving through a section that was mainly built as track homes. Again, this neighborhood I really love because of the fact that you have beautiful trees, it's well established and so it has a more comfortable look. A lot of the homes were built with the low country style in mind and the price range is anywhere from 300000 in this section all the way up to, you know, a million plus. If you can find a house that has been updated and renovated in a decent price range, then you've done really well. Some of the homes in this neighborhood do need updating, and a lot of people don't mind that. You know, you buy one of these older homes, fix them up, and then you've gotten your money back. On this side, you have a little more custom feel, not as many track homes over here. Again, you have these gorgeous live oaks that the developer was able to keep. They didn't have to tear them down when they developed the neighborhood, which really makes it feel a lot more comfortable and just beautiful. Behind these homes here, you have Horlback Creek. So these homes here actually have docks that go out into the creek, and this is a really nice bonus. And of course, this price point is a little bit more due to the home sizes, lot sizes, and also lot locations. Here we're going to take a drive through the amenity center. It's in the back of the neighborhood. You have a volleyball court and of course the tennis courts here. Two courts there. The clubhouse and then behind the clubhouse you have the pool. A soccer field also, and a nice playground. Very nice amenity center here in Long Point subdivision.
So now we're driving into the Enclave at Long Point. And these homes range anywhere from 350 to seven, 700,000. As you can see, there's not as many trees, so it does have a newer feel to it. The lots are a bit smaller than some of the lots in the regular Long Point. These homes were built anywhere from the late 90s all the way up to 2005, six. It still has that custom look. However, some of the homes were built as higher end track homes. Behind these homes here, you have the marsh views, as well as more views of Coralbeck Creek. These homes also boast hardy plank siding, which is a little bit nicer than the wood siding because it's easier to maintain. It's actually cement board. And then of course you also have brick homes as well. There are small little ponds in the neighborhood, which also makes for a nicer feel. Typically these are built as runoff ponds, but they do make for a nice amenity. So they serve two purposes, pleasure and utilitarian. So we are now in Palmetto Islands County Park. This is a park that is run by the Charleston County. And what's nice about this is First of all, it's a really nice amenity if you live in Long Point, but it's a nice amenity for anybody that lives in Mount Pleasant. We have access to it. It's a dollar, or you can buy a gold pass and come anytime during the year for free. It's great for biking, walking. You can bring your kayaks. You can go crabbing or fishing off of their docks. And they have miles and miles of walking trails here. They also have two huge playgrounds, which is really nice for the kids. One is called the Big Toy, which they completely renovated about two years ago. It's a great place to have birthday parties for kids and things like that. And then also we have, there's a tower, which is on the other side here that overlooks Horlback Creek and the marsh that has got a really fun slide and the kids really enjoy it. And it's great for picnics all throughout the park. They have shelters where you can have parties if you want to rent out a shelter. It's really a great place and it's always nice and cool here because of the shade. The county does a wonderful job of maintaining it. One of the things that I always tell people is I used to actually work here as a camp counselor when I was in graduate school and it was probably one of the best jobs I ever had. Basically we did crafts and field games and kayaking. We took the kids crabbing, canoeing, they did bike rides and every afternoon we would go and spend the rest of the afternoon in the water park and it was the best job, so much fun, and I really enjoyed every minute of that. Here we have the dog park. They have the small dog park and then the regular sized dog park, which is a really nice feature. People love to bring their dogs, and the guys at the gate always give the dogs treats when you come in. One of the best features of Palmetto Islands County Park is the water park. It's called Splash Island, and it's open from May to September. And that's also a really good place to have birthday parties. It's just a great place to go to bring the kids and go down the water slides and just enjoy summer. So now we're back on Long Point Road, heading towards a few more neighborhoods just off Long Point Road. And this is the kind of the commercial section of Long Point Road as we're heading towards 526 in the Wando River. We're getting ready to turn off up here on the right to check out Moultrie Park, which is a new subdivision, very small, that they're building here. And what I love about it is if you want, you can actually very easily walk or ride your bike over to the Bell Hall Shopping Center. And it's very close to 526 for those people who work on Daniel Island or over in North Charleston, Goose Creek, in that area, as many people do. So it's a really convenient location. What I love about these homes, and you'll see here in a minute, is first of all, they're new, and also the builder here is really putting in some gorgeous, very high-end finishes. And as you can see, they're still building. This builder here, Ashton Woods, is building about 16 more homes here in this neighborhood. Several of them have already been finished. They still have several in construction. More like patio homes, almost a townhome feel. So very, very low maintenance, very low maintenance. We're just going to drive through here and check out these cute little homes. Small yards, no amenity, but you do have the R.L. Jones Rec Center, which is just around the corner, which has an indoor pool 
and fields and other facilities that the people who live in this neighborhood can use. The price ranges anywhere from low 300s to 450 range, depending on your finishes and upgrades and that sort of thing. So now we're driving into one of my favorite neighborhoods in Mount Pleasant, Hidden Cove. I have several, actually several friends who live in this neighborhood. What I like about it is you have bigger lots, a great amenity, and it's not a huge neighborhood, so it never feels crowded. Again, one of the things I like about this neighborhood, just like several off the Long Point, is it's more established, so you have more trees, and the yards look a little fuller and less bare than some of the newer neighborhoods. On the right here, we have the amenity center. It's a nice little pool, which is never crowded. Tennis courts there. And then there's also a dock, a community dock in the neighborhood as well. So good amenities here in Hidden Cove. The homes in this neighborhood were built from 1988 to 2005. There are 247 homes total in the neighborhood. Many of them have still the wood siding because of the age of the homes, but there are some that have the hardy plank siding as well. A lot of the homes are interior lots, but there are some that are situated along Hopcock Creek. And so you do have homes with docks, really beautiful views. And again, like I said, as you can see, great lot sizes. We're still on Long Point Road, heading into another little very, very small neighborhood called Oak Park. There are a total of 39 homes, all vinyl siding, built by a track builder, and they range anywhere from 1,500 square feet to about 2,200 square feet. There is a play park in this neighborhood, and there's also two ponds that the residents of the neighborhood can use. Some of the homes actually back up to the ponds, which makes for a really nice home site. And again, they did a really good job when they developed this neighborhood by keeping some of the old live oak trees and the price ranges anywhere from around $250, 300 to 350 so really good price point for Mount Pleasant and really cute homes. So we are heading back onto Long Point Road and leaving Oak Park heading to another really nice neighborhood here in Mount Pleasant called Hobcaw Creek Plantation. But I wanted to point out one of the, I would say, really the only negative about living in this part of Mount Pleasant on this side of Long Point is you do have the port behind us, the Wando Terminal, and so you do have a lot of um, trucks, semi, semi trucks, um, traffic on this road for the industrial part of this section of Mount Pleasant, which is a negative, but once you get into the neighborhoods, you really don't even know that this is going on out here. So. It wouldn't bother me, but it might bother some people. And so I would just like to point out that that would be one negative that you would have living in this area. But as you can see, once you get into the neighborhoods, and this one is Hobcaw Creek Plantation here, you hardly even know that that's there. Really, really love Hobcaw Creek Plantation. This neighborhood is another neighborhood very similar to Hidden Cove, but I would say just a tad bit higher end than Hidden Cove. It has pretty much the same amenities. There is you know, neighborhood pool, boat landing, and a community dock. There's also tennis courts as well. And here we'll drive by the pool real quick. It's here in the front of the neighborhood. Really nice clubhouse as well. And a basketball court. And so great amenities here in Hawcock Creek Plantation. They do a really good job of maintaining them and keeping it in good condition. The homes in Hobcaw Creek Plantation are basically custom homes and they vary from either vinyl siding, wood siding, brick siding, and the size ranges from 2,000 square feet all the way up to 5,000 square feet. So we have a nice range of options here in Hobcaw Creek Plantation. Built starting in the late 80s and so you do tend to find homes that need a little bit of updating here and there and sometimes you find homes in here that are already updated, which is also a nice thing. It depends on what your needs are for each particular buyer. I would say this is another one of my favorite neighborhoods in Mount Pleasant. Again, because it has the trees, you've got the ponds, and then also behind this neighborhood, just like Kitten Cove, you have Hobcaw Creek, which runs behind the neighborhood. And so there are several homes 
in Hobcock Creek Plantation that are situated along the water and have private docks for boats, kayaking, crabbing, and fishing, and that sort of thing. The price ranges anywhere from $350 all the way up to just over a million, depending on the lot and the condition of the home. So Hobcock Creek Plantation is definitely, I would say, maybe a little more higher end neighborhood than some of the other ones we have here in Mount Pleasant. Okay, so now we are in a small little subdivision kind of tucked back off of Long Point Road called Etowan Point. Every home in this neighborhood is a townhome. They're elevated townhomes, which is actually very nice because you have plenty of storage and parking underneath. Some of these are actually being worked on right now and they're changing out some of the siding and working on the bottoms of these, but they're very nice size. Range anywhere from 2,000 square feet on up. And then of course, again, you have the really good garages. They have a great amenity center here at Etowan Point with a beautiful pool and a clubhouse. The main negative with Etowan Point, as you can see, is that they have, well, they're very close to 526 right here. And so you do get some road noise depending on which units you're in. This unit here on the right that's for sale is actually listed for under 200,000, which is very cheap price per square foot for this area. But it also sits right on 526. So when you're sitting on your back porch, you're looking at the interstate. So they're having a hard time selling that one. However, if you can find one, if you're lucky enough to find one in the back of Etowan Point here in the marsh, these homes actually here are situated along the marsh. You've done really well because they're really beautiful. And the finishes on the inside are nice. Granite countertops, high-end trim packages. So they're very nice units. Here is the community dock that takes you out into the Wando River, views of the Wando River and the marsh so you can crab and fish off of that dock there. And then they're also building some new townhomes in the back side of this neighborhood that we'll go see here. This new townhome section here is called Marsh Point. So it's, I guess, a subsection of Etowan Point. And the price range is anywhere from 380 on up to close to 500,000. They're brand new. They're built similarly to the homes that were at Etowan Point with the drive under garages and the larger square footage in the townhomes here. Nice finishes again in these homes and they're available. So again, you know, the ones here on the left are wonderful because they back up to the Wando River and the marsh and so you have beautiful views. And then the ones on the right are not as close to 526 as the townhomes in Etowan Point, but they do back up a little bit to 526 and so you still have to battle with that road noise just a bit. Not as bad, however, as the ones at Etowan Point. So now we are finishing up our Long Point tour here in the Bell Hall Shopping Center, which is really one of my favorite shopping centers in Mount Pleasant. You've got lots of fast food, Wendy's, and then you've got Steinmart, there's a Moe's over there, which is a really great kind of a Mexican restaurant. Then over here you've got Holly's Front Porch, really good burgers. The Backpacker, which is a really nice um, higher end store where you can get Patagonia and camping gear and good shoes and things like that. There's a massage, there's a couple of actually salons in this shopping center. And then you have Long Point Pharmacy, their prices actually are better than Walmart. And so it's locally owned, which is really nice. You have the cleaners, and of course my favorite grocery store, Harris Teeter. The granaries over there, Dog and Duck, so tons of restaurants. We have Starbucks up here on the corner, the dentist, Herber Nirvana is one of my favorite spas in Mount Pleasant. So you can go get a facial or a massage. Also we have frozen yogurt, you gotta have Froyo, so TCBY. You also have Postal Cupboard, which is a really neat, locally owned, sort of like a Williams Sonoma kitchen store. And they also do cooking classes and things like that in there, which is fun and a nice thing to have, amenity to have here in Mount Pleasant. The Great Harvest Bread Company is a great little sandwich shop. And then of course we have CVS. And one of my favorite little stores here is called Handpicked. It's really great for jewelry. Escapado, which is high-end clothing. 
chocolate store and of course Cupcake, my kid's favorite place. And then McAllister's Deli, more salons, and then there's also a juice bar and a bagel shop. It's a really, it's a great, great shopping center. It has everything. Sports clips, you have sushi and hibachi over here at Fuji. And then PetSmart, which is awesome to have, especially if you just want to have a place to take your dog to, you know, get groomed real fast or have a bath or just if you need extra pet things. There's a Mexican restaurant that's really good. And then straight ahead we have a Malfi's, which is a really good family-friendly Italian restaurant, a wine bar, and the gown boutique of Charleston, and then a Pilates studio as well. And then another one of my favorite stores, which is Tuesday Morning, which is similar to kind of like a TJ Maxx or more like a Home Goods Marshalls type place. Right behind Bell Hall Shopping Center, we have a condo community called One Bell Hall. And one bell hall consists of one, two, three bedroom units. And there's four different floor plans to choose from. The Cooper, the Ashley, the Edisto, and the Stono, all named after rivers here in the Low Country. And then there is the option to purchase a one-car garage along with the condo if you are interested and would like a garage. There are a total of 59 units in this complex. And they're actually, again, they have the higher end finishes, which is really nice. And so a lot of people like them, especially for the walkability. It's so nice to be able to just walk out of your condo and go have, you know, dinner at the Italian restaurant or lunch at the bagel shop or grab a juice. One Bell Hall is a really nice, very low maintenance community here in the back of the Bell Hall Shopping Center. That makes for a great option if you're looking for easy living.